Hans-Werner Sinn has been president of the IFO Institute for Economic Research for 12 years and he joins me now live. Thank you very much for joining us today. Um, if we could just look at uh, what this survey tells you about uh, both exporting and also about internal hiring and consumer spending. It's a positive picture across the board really, isn't it? Well, it's not quite consumer spending. The German boom is driven by uh, a surge of investment which is unprecedented. And that is the good signal. Uh, I think this uh, follows from the crisis. Uh, the capital doesn't dare to go abroad anymore and is being offered to domestic investors. Now, does this confidence signify that there is less concern about sovereign debt issues elsewhere within the European Union? Um, yes, but you should understand why we have a division of uh, the economic uh, development in Europe in the moment. Uh, over the last 10-15 years under the euro, lots of capital moved into the countries of the southwestern periphery of Europe. Germany, in fact, was the largest capital exporter, and now the capital is not daring to go into these countries. Where should banks invest their money? Should they buy Greek government securities? Should they provide Spanish banks, the Caixas, with new money? Uh, this is all a little bit risky, and therefore they seek domestic investment opportunities, which drives down the interest rate in Germany and which creates a construction boom and a boom of manufacturing and everything. Mm. So, obviously, uh, exports are very important to Germany, but you don't feel at the moment that these figures show that Germany is too reliant on exports, particularly to a single country like China. No, this is a misconception. The current boom is not driven by exports. In last year, we had 3.6% growth, and 50% uh, of that was internal demand, but not consumption demand. It was uh, exclusively investment demand. The consumption demand contributed only a tiny little bit. Of course, exports were strong, but so were imports, and the overall contribution of foreign trade to the growth of last year was just a, a, a bit less than a third. Now, what about uh, the uh, recent uh, election defeat for Angela Merkel? Will, any, will that play in to confidence going forward if there is a little bit more instability in the political scene in Germany? No, I think this is independent. Uh, the political ups, uh, situation is independent of the business situation, more or less. Now, we've seen the IFO go, the IFO go higher and higher every month. Can it, can it keep continuing to rise, or do you see this as a possible ceiling? Of course, it cannot continue forever. Uh, there must be some uh, ceiling, uh, but I really honestly don't know where it is. Okay. Well, well, we'll wait and see next month. Thank you very much indeed.